I'm casting on 120 stitches. Make sure that your 120 go around your needle easily so it has to be short enough to be to go around and I still need to do three so this is the way I'm casting on you go into that stitch knit it turn your stitch and cast on again that's knit and cast on knit and cast on. Now make sure that all your bumps are toward the inside. See all the all the chains are looking toward the inside. And now I'm going to be knitting around two two rounds. So like that I can start my stitch easier and I'll come back so I have several rounds already made so you know what it looks like and it's very attractive okay so this stitch is done after doing your first two knit rounds you do the round number one. So round number one is that you knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, pass those two stitches knitwise to your right hand needle, knit one, and the two stitches that you passed, you pass over that last stitch and yarn over. So again, knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, pass two stitches to your right hand needle knit wise, knit one, and pass those two stitches over and yarn over. Let's see if we can need more light. Here we go. So let's do that again. Knit three. One, two, three. Yarn over. Pass those two stitches knit wise. Knit one and pass those two stitches over the last stitch and yarn over. And you do that the whole round and I will see you all in the next one. So I am at the end of the first round. I have six stitches left and so I do my knit three. Yarn over, pass two stitches, knit one, pass the two stitches over the last one, and yarn over. So, round number two and number four are all knit. There we go. And I will see you when I start round number three. So I am finishing round number two, which is knit the whole round. Round number three. On round number one, we started with knit three. On round number three, we're going to start with yarn over, pass two stitches knitwise together, knit one, and pass those two 
over the last one, yarn over, and knit three. So you see that we're alternating that stitch. So let's do that again, yarn over, pass two stitches together to the right hand needle, knit wise, knit one, pass those two stitches over the last one that you knitted, and yarn over, and knit three. So let's do that again, yarn over, pass two, knit one, pass the two over the last one, yarn over, and knit three. And then round number four is all knit the same as round number two. So I made my bag as long as I wanted it. And then once I have the length, I am going I changed my yarn to make one round of blue. So let's get this closer. And we're going to be making an I cord. So in order to make an I cord, that is the first one on my project after the first round. So I'm going to go in and pick up the whole stitch. See? I pick up the whole stitch and make another stitch and put it on your needle. So that's one. And then knit. Pick up that whole stitch. Knit it. And that would be two. Again, we're going to pick up that whole stitch, knit it, that would be three, and then again I'm going to knit it, pick up the whole stitch, and place another one. So that's four stitches that I added to my knit. So that's right there. And I am going to start by knitting one, two, three, and then the fourth is going to be knitted through the back together with that last one. So there we go. And now we bring those back. One, two, three, four. And let's do that again. One, two, three. And the fourth is knitted with the next one. Knit them through the back. and then bring them back. One, two, three, four. Again, let's do that. We're going to knit one, two, three, and the fourth is going to be knitted through the back together with that next stitch. And again, we bring those four back. One, two, three, four. Again, we're going to knit four. One, two, three. And the fourth is knitted together with the next stitch through the back. And so we're going to do this all around the bag. And I'll see you when I get to the end. Okay, so I'm at the end of my eye cord and I'm going to sew the beginning with the end. So I'm going to pass, this is where my yarn comes from. I'm going to pass my needle 
to the back of that first one. And then I'm picking up this first stitch on this side. There we go. And then I want to pick up that stitch and then from the back to the front and pick up the next stitch on this side. Pick up that stitch and then from the back to the front and pick up the next stitch on this side. Pick up that stitch, take it off and then do that last one like that we have a very nice finish of our eye cord. There we have it. And I am going to be hiding all these tails. Since it's an eye cord, it's easy to do that because you just go under there, like under there. Okay, so now I want to make the hanging part. And I am going to be using a nice method here. So for the cord that goes over your shoulder, I cast it on with the long tail cast on. I cast it on 10 stitches and I am knitting one row and purling one row. So it's going to be straight stitch back and forth, back and forth, so knit. One row and purl one row. And that's it. So you do it for the length that you wish and I'll come back and show you how to attach it to your bag. So always leave long tails when you knit because it's nice not to have to attach another piece of yarn to sew. So this is going to be attached on the inside. Let me get this a little bit closer. And so I am going to sew this strip to the inside. And I'll go like so. And this is easy because you know all the stitches are there already. And you do that with all four of them. And that's it. Once you sew each of them in their place, then we are going to go and do the bottom of the bag. So there we go. See, and it looks very nice on the other side because it doesn't disrupt anything. And it's very nicely stitched on this side. So you make a knot there. And weave in the ends. And do that on each side. So now I'm picking up stitches from the bottom of my bag and I'm picking up one on each loop here. So I'm picking up that one 
and the next loop and hopefully I have the 120 stitches that I originally casted on it. <laughs> okay, so that's the next one. And then once I have all my stitches, I am going to be knitting one round. So let me see right in there. And that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to be knitting one round and I'll come back. So this is the diagram I want for my bag. So this is a loop here and this is the other loop there and I want 18 stitches one 40 stitches one 18 stitches one and 40 stitches so I want to have a square bottom and that's what we're going to do so I have my markers here already and I picked up this the, the stitches and did my first round and then I marked since this is like almost in the middle of the front I marked to have 40 here and then mark one and then I have the 18 mark one I have 40 mark one and 18 so I am going to be taking off stitches on each part of the marker. Okay, so I knitted until one before my marker. I'm going to take that marker off. And those two stitches I am going to pass to my right hand needle together knit wise knit the next and those two that I passed it goes over that last one and then I am going to knit to one before the net me put my marker there so I know which one it is there we go I don't want to lose my spot. So there we go. So I am going to knit until the next marker. And then one before the marked stitch. I stop knitting. Let's see. So there we go. So I take my marker off. And I'm going to pick up those two stitches. This is the one that was marked. I went to one before. I'm picking up those two stitches knit wise, knit the next stitch, and these two go over the last one. So let's going to put my marker there. The one that became the middle. And then I knit to the next marker. So I do that on all four markers. So once I finished doing the takeoff row, I did one row of not taking off. And then this next row will be of taking off. So let's do that. I come to where my marker is, 
pass those two stitches, knit one, and pass those two stitches over. And then keep going until you find your next marker. This is going to look very pretty. So let's see, my next marker is there. So one before. Let me get this straight here. Okay, so one before, and that's with the one with the marker. I am going to pass those two stitches together, knit winds knit the next one and pass those two stitches over the last one and I'm going to go around like this and so remember that you do this only every other row so you take off and then the next row you don't and then the next row you do and then the next row you don't so I'll see you then. Okay, so I already did the last part, which was the uh, pass two, knit one and pass over. And I don't have any stitches in between one and the other. See, this is the smaller part of the rectangle and I have no stitches left right here. So this is where I started started my round and uh, I am going to start binding off and I could do a Kitchener stitch putting one side with the other but I really want to have the bottom of the bag be strong. So if I do a Kitchener stitch it's going to be like very wobbly. So I'm going to bind off and I'm going to bind off around and once I do that I will come back one note here is that that is the last stitch of each of the taking off and I knitted the, those two stitches together and then bind off. And so I'll see you when I finish. And then on the other side, you can do that too. Like right there, I have one on each and I can knit them together and then bind off. So I am done with the, the binding off and now I have my my yarn on a needle so I can go and pick up that first one that first stitch on the other side and then bring it back to where it came from and like that I can close it and see it's not noticeable I'm just going to make a soft knot on the other side and I will weave that end later. Okay, so now I see that the two stitches that were coming together are one side is there and the other side is right there. See where the two stitches come together? and I put on a piece of yarn so I can sew from there to the other side so let's see I am going to go from that side so that we're okay it, I have to start on this one on this stitch 
right in there and then the stitch on this side so this one in there and then the stitch on this side so I just did that one this is the next one and a stitch on this side but I'm picking up the whole VC that whole stitch so like that it's nice and sturdy so let's see that whole stitch there from and this is where I left off the last time so I pick up this one here and I go and pick up that one there and I come and pick up this one here and that one there and this one here and see it it gives it a very nice finish and it's nice and sturdy at the bottom so I'll keep doing this all the way to the other side and I'll come back so there we go we end up where those two get together and I will bring my yarn my needle inside so I can make a little knot there and let me show you how sturdy the back looks because that's what you want in a bag since you're putting stuff in there I'm just making sure I have a nice knot a secure one and I'm weaving all these There we go. And then I can cut it. So weave in all your ends. And let me show you how this looks. It's very pretty. I'll take some pictures. And see how the bottom of the bag looks. I have to take the markers out of there. But see it becomes a rectangle. So that's what you want it to look like. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, there we go. You see, it's a very nicely finished piece. And I will see you next time.